This is the second part of the exchange series. The first thing we're going to we're going to do is we're going to RDP to the exchange server. Right now the exchange server is a standalone unit which is joined in a workgroup format. It's not on a domain yet. So we open the uh, TCP IP connection. We disable any unused LAN connection and change the IP address. Make sure that the IP address is um, dot three ten zero zero dot three. The DNS server is ten zero zero dot two, which is our Active Directory DNS server IP address. And then we are going to join this server to the domain to the Delaris dot local domain. Enter the username as administrator and the password. This this uh, this credential is the domain admin uh, credential for uh, allowing this computer to join to the domain. Once that computer is restarted, we log into the domain. Put Dalaris backslash administrator and the password is whatever the d domain password the domain admin password is. So we're going to log in and what we're going to do is we're going to open the uh, the router and we're going to do some port forwarding. Um, for exchange to work we're going to open uh, quite a few ports around seven ports for now we're gonna disable the the windows firewall the built-in windows firewall first so that mail can flow in and out of this box without any problem so we're gonna open uh, Internet Explorer and then we're gonna type in the IP address of the the router This is a DDWRT router. We click, we click on the NAT section. So right now we do have RDP uh, port forwarded to the box. So we just want to make sure that we have the IP address on this box is 10.0.0.3, and the DNS is 10.0.0.2. Then the first port is port 25. We're going to put in 25 is SMTP. And we'll apply the settings. And then we're going to put in port. Um, the next port is 587. Five eighty seven is is SNTP message submission for uh, you know IMAP and POP for for user to connect and submit message messages. Apply settings. And then we're gonna put in four six five. 465 is secure SMTP. After that, we're going to put in 443. 443 is port secure HTTP, HTTPS. We save it. And the next port, we are going to put 
port 2525. 2525 is alternative port for, for SMTP. This is to separate the FET and the transport service, front end service and transport service because the CAS and the mailbox are on the same servers. So we have to separate that and port 2525 is for um, an alternative port for SMTP in this case. I'm going to put in port 717 this is for outbound proxy connection and then put in port 475 this is for mailbox transport delivery service and we're going to save it and make sure that the router is saved and that's it.